Okay. Thanksgiving by Major Palmer. I like Thanksgiving. You get to have turkey and potatoes and gravy and pumpkin pie. <laughs> I think he means pumpkin pie. Thanks. We used to have Thanksgiving with my mommy and daddy, but then they yelled and got divorced. <laughs> now we don't have a family, so we're having Thanksgiving with some white people. <laughs> hey, that's us. I can't even give my kids a decent family Thanksgiving. I'm a horrible, horrible father. I've never felt worse. Does this mean you're not gonna dry, or...? <laughs> I should be having Thanksgiving over in my place. Bring all my relatives in. That's what a good father would do. So do it. How? I can't even find someone to pick up my kids from school. How am I gonna pull off a whole big Thanksgiving? I need a wife. What are you looking at? You. <laughs> now, look, I'm gonna throw something out here. Now, don't shoot it down right away. Just let it wash over you. Okay. I'm thinking of loaning you out to Deacon. <laughs> what? He's, he's real upset, and he, he decided he, he, he wants to have a big Thanksgiving at his place, but he's crazy with work and the kids, and... Look, bottom line is, he needs a wife. So I thought I'd loan you to him, you know, like I lent him my drill. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, I am not a power tool. And second, if I ever do become someone else's wife, it ain't gonna be another truck driver. Come on, Deacon's desperate. It would just be for the week. You gotta just pick the kids up, make them dinner, and then help them get Thanksgiving organized. I don't know. It's the spirit of Thanksgiving. For, for God's sakes, the, the pilgrims, they gave their wives to the Indians. That's not what happened. Well, they gave out maize, I know that. Do you even know what maize is? Some kind of food that was amazing. Oh, yeah. Come on, Carrie, you, you told me yourself, you got an easy work week, your dad's out of town. Come on. All right, I'll do it. I'll be your best friend's wife. Sweet. No, Uncle Fred, I can't pick you up at the airport because I have to pick up Nana Letty from the nursing home. Just take the shuttle from the airport. It'll drop you off right here. No, the shuttle. When you get off the plane, just look for the sign. The sign will say shuttle. <laughs> Uh, hang on a sec. Someone requested a mail order bride? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on in. Look, thanks so much for coming. You are saving my life now. Are you sure you're up for this? I gotta be honest with you, Deke. I think we should have done this swap a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey, where do you want me to start? You want me to make some dinner? Chase you around with a rolling pin? What do you like? Come on. <laughs> I'm actually making some travel plans, trying to get my family in, so a dinner would be great. Uh, I picked up some ground beef. The kids love meatloaf. One loaf of meat coming right up. Wow, this looks great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll get it. Okay. I'll get it. Hello. Hey, man. What are you doing here? I just thought I'd drop off a little housewarming gift, get the new couple off on the right foot. <laughs> Yeah, they sell everything at gas stations now. Hey, you want to stay for dinner? On your first night together? Yeah. I'm sure you want the loser best friend hanging around. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go catch a movie. Yeah, oh, oh, that thing is dripping. Let me throw a plate under this. Oh, okay. So, everything going okay? Yeah, it's great. You know, I, I know I fought you on this one, but I, I really feel good. You know, I really feel like I'm helping him. You know, you're, you're doing a really good thing. I'm very, very proud of you. Now, if I'm going to make a movie and a strip club, I got to scoot. All right. <laughs> All right, come on, you guys, dig in. All right, what do you guys say to Carrie? Thanks, Thank you, Carrie. Carrie. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Yeah. <laughs>